So you might ask how we would measure success for flower bombing. Um, number one, the one that we primarily focus on is the increase in pollinator populations. So if you see the bees and the butterflies flying around, we can count them as part of our audit. Um, we can count the hives that they create, and often bees can make their hives up to 300 yards away from where they're feeding. So it can be that great span of a distance. Um, next one that we don't focus on too much is the soil health and slow erosion rate. Um, native flowers often have pretty deep root systems, which prevent the erosion, which also aerate the soil, allowing microorganisms and worms to crawl through, aerating the soil while also allowing um, the soil to stay there longer. And with the worm and microorganism droppings, create this nutrient rich and nutrient dense soil. Next would be community education and involvement. And arguably, I think this is the most important one. Um, I think we really need to spend some time in breaking down the stigma behind bugs and pollinators. Um, insects really do create the biological foundation for all of our lives on Earth. So having a area that they can live in and call home without getting sprayed by pesticides is really important to the to not just let the environment around us um, live, but to really let it flourish. Um, I do have an image in this picture, in this slide, that I think is great. Really represents like when you have all these plants and things for these to call home, what it looks like and what it's really supposed to look like. Um, just keep in mind the world is not just for us humans, so let the little guys have a home.